my mom is a huge fan. I'm not sure exactly which one it is. Is it Housewives of Beverly Hills or is it OC? Uh, Vanderpump. Vanderpump. Rules. Oh my God, that's yes. so embarrassing. My mom loves no, you. No, like, don't be embarrassed. The mamas love Vanderpump yes, Rules. She loves it. So she always. I've heard your name, Lala. Obviously, it's unforgettable. Wonderful to meet with you. Today, something that I've been looking forward to. Gotcha. And very much needed. Now, when I do a reading, my goal is to just get specific information, details. I just kind of start meditating and, and start getting impressions. Perfect. And we'll see where it leads. The reality is, is when I deliver a message, it's a group effort. Not only do I have my loved ones on my side coming through, but I also have my spirit guides and also the client's loved ones trying to communicate information. So we use anybody that can come through to deliver a message. So before we start, I know you have some objects there, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not even gonna quite touch them yet. How do, how do you how do you go about asking yeah. a question? Uh, well, we could like kind of pick a general area. Um, so usually like family, health, love, and career. Babies. Absolutely. That. For sure. So I'm just gonna give it one sec, and we'll see what happens. That that okay. Gotcha. That's interesting. Uh, I saw a three, and that you don't strike me as someone who would have three children. It just is like, when I look at you intuitively, I don't know. It's the weirdest thing, because it feels like a non-traditional. It's like, I'm not seeing you birthing three children, but I'm seeing one, one at least. Yeah. So, biologically. <laughs> but, perfect. Yeah, so you want to know what's so crazy? Can tell I me. tell you this? Tell me. The person I'm with right now, he has two girls that I basically love like they're my own, so that would make so much sense right. that you say three. I definitely feel like there's so much you could give a child and, and have so much to provide. So again, I feel like that'd be great. And we feel the same way. She's like so maternal, so maternal. And then like the two to three year mark, I kind of like, like okay. starting to think about it. That's what I've spoken about with my boyfriend multiple times that we want to wait that amount of time. So for Tyler to say it, it kind of just gives the stamp of approval. Like, okay, there is no rush. I'm on the right path. Um, they are having me hold on to that watch, so we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> Thank you. Fabulous. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um. Okay. I have had a great loss in my life that happened within a matter of months ago, and, um, yeah. I just mean... It makes me angry that I don't have him anymore. I just need to feel a connection. So they're bringing me to a discussion about the very end of someone's life. And they're bringing me in the context of this man that I feel like I have to bring up and really connected to watch. When he comes through, he, for some reason, is having me acknowledge, like, expecting to have more time. I'm not super young when I die, but I'm not super old when I die either. And so there's this kind of feeling of being a little bit kind of closer to the middle, basically like, uh, I wasn't ready to go, shouldn't have gone when I went. I mean, the timing of this just keeps bringing up the timing and like not being convenient, not that there's ever a convenient time. But when this comes through, he, he basically just kind of acknowledges he wasn't able to say everything he wanted to say to yeah. the people he wanted to say it to. Can you relate to anybody passing away closer to that time frame or went yeah, kind of before his time? 